So JT has just announced that her project City Cinderella is going to launch on the 19th of July and I'm sure people are waiting to see if it will do well. Considering the fact that it is her first solo project after stepping away from the City Girls, well to see what the probability of this project doing well or not doing well is, let's look at all the activities that JT has been doing since she started rebranding herself as a solo artist. So the first one is subtle. It's subtle than the others that I'm going to mention, but it's also very important, which is I noticed that JT started tweaking the way that she dresses a little bit compared to how she was with the City Girls. It looks like she found her own identity, or this is something that has always been in her. But the styling is a bit different. It's not drastic, but it's different. I don't know what the name of the style is, but if you know what it is, please drop it down in the comments for me. And it's very important when you're branching off to have an identity that people can place you on. And I think she's done that well as well. Then the second one is the name. As soon as JT branched off, she started giving her audience a name, which is the Jew phase, which was very, very important because giving people, your audience and your fans a name is to give them a sense of purpose and a sense of identity. So now they can all come together as one, following one movement, and that movement being the JT movement. That was really, really important. And there's something very intimate about your audience and your fans having a name. You know, we always say a name is really important. Our names are the most important thing to us, and we also like being part of something so having that name was really important and she gave her fans those names as well then the second thing that i noticed was that the fan pages i kept seeing like a lot of jt fan pages popping up and these fan pages were doing a really really great job of amplifying jt's message and also increasing her visibility they were doing this by posting her stats posting um, any singles that she has dropping, posting her YouTube videos. They were doing a really great job of amplifying things that she herself cannot do. Because if she herself start posting most of these things, people will be like, oh, she's starting to feel herself or she's doing too much, you know, this, this and that. But the fan pages doing it for her was really good. And also the fan pages were doing a great job of rallying other fans together and saying let's go support let's go watch this video let's go do this let's go buy let's go download let's go do that so that's another thing that she's done pre-launch free this project that's about coming out then the third thing that she's done that i think this one was done really well even though it was a controversy online you know with people mocking her or saying different things where it was the small venues where she was performing on a tour and she was doing small, intimate gatherings. And I don't think people know the power that this has on building like a deeper connection with an audience. She was doing this to solidify herself as a solo artist, but also to build like a deeper connection with her fans. And you notice that on this deeper, um, on this small gatherings, she will get her fans and they will wrap off. You know, they will start rapping with her and all of that. And it felt like people started rooting for her more when they started going to these small venues. That's a really good thing. Another thing is community area. So the Juvies have an area where they all go in. You know, there's a group where they all go in where JT posts her updates and everything and I noticed that she also goes to station head and speaks to her fans let them know what's going on let them know everything that's about to happen and all of that that's really really important and also the community outreach I cannot um, forget that I think recently I just saw a tweet where it was saying that a fan reached out to her and said that they were going for a pageant I believe and they wanted one of JT's dresses that she wore on an award show. And she asked them which one was it. 
and then the fan said um, it was a particular dress and JD sent it to them and the fan wore that dress. But not only that, she's been giving back to the community in terms of prom, in terms of other things. She's been giving back a lot and also the interviews. So she's been doing a lot of interviews. This is pre-everything. We knew that the project was coming. We knew something was going to come up. And she's been hinting, or she's already said it was called City Cinderella. But then we didn't know when it was coming. But before that, she was doing all of these things. She did the interviews. She did, uh, and um, as I'm making this video, there's some interviews dropping with her and other people as well. So it looks like she has done a lot pre-launch to make sure there's a lot of buzz, you know, there's a lot of hype. And there's also a lot of excitement. Let's not forget the single, the OK single. The OK single was, you know, throughout everybody was, you know, liking the single. And I think the remix dropped recently with Jeezy as well. And people have been liking that. So she's been doing a lot to make sure that, you know, there's a lot of interest in whatever it is she's about to drop. And also there's a lot of, you know, curiosity. What is going to, what's the album going to be about? What is she going to talk about? Is she going to talk about the same things she's talked about, you know, when she was in the City Girls? Or is she talk, going to talk about something different? So, I don't know. I believe, I personally believe that she has done a lot pre-launch to make sure that this project does well. But I don't know. We don't know how people are, you know, they can see all of these things and still not support so now my question to you is, do you think that JT has done enough or she has done the right things to make sure that she has built cult like following in a way that will support the album when it drops? Or do you think that there's more that she needs to do to make sure that this project is a success when it drops? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it.